Okay, so the, so the next really big issue is, well, what does this movement system mean to uh, the physical therapy profession? Well, I think uh, in many ways the profession suffers from the same thing about what is physical therapy and how do we gain recognition. And what I've sort of watched over these 50-odd years of being in the profession is that we tend to, to follow the direction of some popular form of treatment. So whether it's a, a Maitland treatment or a Bobath treatment or a McKinsey treatment, it's all about a treatment system and not about the underlying problem. It's not what we are doing to a particular system. And the other thing that uh, is really key to me is that we uh, have been really, really deficient in addressing this issue of defining diagnosis. And um, right here, Barbara Norton's led a, a major effort in these di diagnosis dialogue talks and organizations to, to make something happen since 2006 in a formal way. And that's been very difficult to pull off. The APTA has not done anything. And what's clear to me is that no one's going to think we figure anything out unless we put a label on it. And nor can students know where they're going with things unless we put a label on it. So there are two advantages of going to the movement system. Now we can say we make movement system diagnosis, not PT diagnosis, not the diagnosis the physician should make, but movement system diagnosis. The, the other thing that's an advantage of this is that it really enables us to put our focus on kinesiology, whether it's pathokinesiology or kinesiopathology, but to really make movement our focus and then appreciate the effects of movement on these multiple systems that make up the, the movement system. Uh, I think it'll give us a true identity, just like the APTA recognized when they adopted the movement system as their identity in 2013. So I think it's a way to, to bring some cohesion to the profession, to let those in the profession know what our expertise should be, to take pride in that, and have a way to sell it to the public. And, and important in all, as I just mentioned, being able to really start honing in on what are diagnostic labels. And to me, that's important not just for the profession or for the public, but also for other healthcare practitioners so that they know we can organize our body of knowledge in ways that lead to syndromes and to diagnostic categories so that they will refer to patients so they can get a diagnosis from it. All too long, I watched all through my career, physicians come down and get information from the physical therapist and then communicate that information to other doctors like they had gotten it. And it just always bothered me that we never got the respect for what we truly figured out and that it had to go through a physician to physician. I think this way, by claiming our body of knowledge, it'll be vitally important within our profession and external to our profession.